wanna show you how you can log in to your VPS or your server if you if I told you don't have a password or the root password and uh, you only have uh, what we call uh, the key so most times it's in form of a file with an extension PEM so it depends and mostly this happens to uh, to if you are told your provider uh, by default deactivated the root access most times if you don't have the root password and uh, if at, if you attempt to use the root login they will ask you for the password so for this purpose you only need to activate the root and uh, what we're gonna do in this video we are just gonna sign in and uh, so the what you need first is that what you need first is for you to get the uh, to get the IP address of uh, that uh, VPS and uh, you log in you use any uh, your your preferred SSH client for the purpose of this. I'm going to this. So I already have uh, that VPS and it's here. It's there. So I will hide its IP, but I will just show you some of what you need to do. So for instance, let me uh, show. Let me get the IP of uh, this uh, this server. You see? Okay. So you create the uh, VPS. Uh, you're going to sign in. So this is a new connection and what you need to do is to paste that IP then after pasting the IP which they give you you enter the uh, the default SSH port of any server most times it's always 22 so you mark that and then after you click on identity you create new and then after that you can name it any like admin for instance or let me say to subscribe I forgot to tell you that you should subscribe to this channel so most times it depends on most of the users most of the times uh, these providers who deactivate root user they will oh you just need all you need is to put uh, uh, your username from that server which they give you so for the purpose of this I'm going to use uh, uh, most times if you're using uh, Amazon the username for server Ubuntu it's Ubuntu and if you're using Debian the server name for the username is admin and uh, so on and so on so for since this is Ubuntu I'm going to use Ubuntu I'm going to type Ubuntu so now here is what we this is our area of focus uh, set password or private key so what we are going to use here is the private key so if you're using Amazon before you before you complete the sign up you all you need to do is to create that key you download it if you fail forgot to download it still you can get it from your from Amazon from that website very well so you click the import key and then you select import so because I downloaded that key already and uh, it's in it's within my so I already have it I downloaded it I named it VPS 4 PM so there is a reason why I did that because I wanted the first so most of these what you see here the light default most of these are keys so what I need to do now is to import just tap on that key just tap on it so it's it and uh, becomes uh, imported and I'll name it I'll name this server tutorial then after I click then launch our server so let me let us create a, um, a sample whereby we don't have that key and we see if uh, they will ask us for the password so let's first launch the server hope you see it it's running and that is uh, oops it's asking for this password so now most of the times the, this APK tends to refer this so it is took uh, a false identity which requires the password so you mark that so for us to take to the identity which we need to take we need to use the one which we created and it is uh which name of it how uh, we have used this subscribe so again we tick tick now the identity we use there is subscribe let's launch it again well wow, boom we are there so that is uh, how you can do it and uh, it's the easiest way the easiest way and remember most times here you're not a root user so to active for you to execute a command as root all you need to do is to execute this to do so do and then so and then that is how you become or you execute a command uh, as root so by default most of by default amazon provides all instances and, uh, and they don't come with a 
with uh, they don't come when root is not uh, activated that is root login so i hope uh, i've explained that and if you've not got anything from this video or if you have missed something don't forget to leave a comment in the description of this video i'll be able to reply to you as soon as possible as well don't forget to subscribe to this channel because we're able to get more and more and more from me jobless